At least once in our lives, we have looked up at the stars and galaxies in the night sky and thought about what it would be like to visit them. Well, maybe we could make intergalactic and interstellar travel faster and more excitingly merge the boundary between science and science fiction by doing so. There are quite a few number of solutions to the problem of making space travel faster. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go through all of them. So for this video, we'll just pick out the coolest solutions. So let's begin this list with one of the most popular solutions, building a warp drive. Yes, a warp drive. While the warp drive may only exist in science fiction, there is more science to this than you realize. So as we all know, a warp drive is a propulsion system which allows a starship to move faster than the speed of light. We also know Einstein's theory of relativity says it's impossible for any sort of matter to move through space faster than the speed of light, which should make the concept of a warp drive impossible. But it doesn't. Why? Well, just because matter can't travel through space faster than light doesn't mean space itself can't expand and contract faster than light. Put simply, Einstein's theory of relativity doesn't forbid the idea of space itself moving faster than the speed of light, which is what the concept of a warp drive is built upon. If a warp drive did exist in real life, it would work by compressing the space in front of it and expanding the space behind it. The region of warp space surrounding the warp drive is called the warp bubble, which can move independently of the rest of the universe faster than the speed of light. So it's not the ship moving faster than light, it's the space surrounding the ship that is. Now the question is, how does a warp drive even bend the fabric of space-time? The answer is negative energy. To understand what negative energy is, let's ask the question, can space contain less than nothing? The answer is yes, the energy density of space can be less than zero. And when it is, we call that less than zero density negative energy, which is capable of warping space-time making it useful for making a warp drive. But warp drives aren't the only solution to faster space travel. Let's take a look at our second option, wormholes. A wormhole is a theoretical passage through space-time, which connects two points in space and allows us to travel between those two points faster than light can travel back and forth between the two points. So how do we create a wormhole? Well, they actually might already exist. However, the scale that these wormholes exist on is small. We're talking about the subatomic scale. But what about bigger wormholes? How do we make those? Well, in order to create a larger wormhole, we need negative energy. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the simple anatomy of a wormhole. The ends of a wormhole contain mouths, which are connected by a throat. Wormholes require negative energy to maintain their stability. Negative energy helps stabilize a wormhole by pushing on the walls of the throat of the wormhole, keeping the wormhole from collapsing in on itself. If we do manage to create a large stable wormhole, then we basically have access to the entire universe at our fingertips. For our third and final solution, instead of thinking big, we're going to have to think small. Literally, we're going to have to journey into the quantum realm. The quantum realm is quite strange from the normal world. Objects in the quantum realm don't behave in the ways we deem ordinary. One perfect example of this is quantum entanglement. What is quantum entanglement? To understand what it is, let's pretend we take two subatomic particles and separate them by a small distance. And by small distance, I mean a few billion light years. Just a few. What quantum entanglement states is that these two particles become linked in such a way that a change in the state of one particle instantaneously affects the state of the other particle. So how do we use quantum entanglement to our advantage? Well, what we do is, we record the quantum state of every single one of the seven octillion atoms in your body, and then, using quantum entanglement, transfer the recorded quantum state to another group of seven octillion atoms, which are entangled with the atoms in your body, creating another copy of you. Unfortunately, in the process, the original gets destroyed, which means you'll be reduced to a mess of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Oh, and did I specify the immense amount of data storage required to store the quantum state of every single atom in your body? So these are the three best solutions in my opinion, but why aren't they a reality yet? 
Well, the number one reason is we haven't made the advancements in physics and technology to do so. For example, remember that negative energy I was talking about earlier, which is needed to power wormholes and warp drives? Well, negative energy hasn't been discovered yet, and it would be extremely hard to find. And with our current understanding of physics and technology, we have a long way to go. However, don't feel down just yet. Just because the technology for faster space travel doesn't exist right now, doesn't mean it won't be created by some genius in the future. Hopefully with new breakthroughs constantly being made in science and technology, what we perceive as science fiction may one day no longer be fiction. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and share it so others can be informed too. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting science videos every month.